It's going uh, really well here at Farringdon. We're right into the testing commissioning stage of the project now. We recently completed the functional test of our low voltage switchboard here at Farringdon. This basically involves turning on and off the supply into the switchboard. We just want to make sure that the board actually functions the way they're supposed to be. So if we lose uh, power to one to the board, the bus coupler for between the boards will close to ensure continuous supply into the station. I think in terms of the architectural finishes, we bought 95% complete. We started clearing a lot of the protection, cleaning some of the uh, final assets, so that's why it looks very complete now. Here at the West Ticket Hall site, we have a diamond-shaped ceiling. The design actually inspired by Hatton Garden, which we all know is the diamond district here in London. At our East Ticket Hall site, we have a coffer ceiling. The bare concrete finish is basically a classic example of the brutalist style architecture, where the design actually inspired by the ceiling at the nearby Barbican Centre. We still have a lot of testing commissioning to be done here, uh, fire alarm integration with the existing station. We still have to commission the radio system as well. Our next challenge is actually going to take down the holding that's separating our work site and the live London Underground station. That will require a lot of planning, a lot of people's uh, time and effort. Farringdon Station used to be a sleepy commuter station, but when we open, uh, it's going to be up to 144 trains per hour. So this is going to transform Farringdon Station big time. I guess it's not very often that you actually get involved in the uh, construction of railway with the scale of Crossrail. And the fact that I've actually been here since the beginning of the project, from the tunneling stage into right now the testing commissioning, it's been amazing. And I can't really wait to actually get on the first train that's actually going to run on the Elizabeth Line.